No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. All right, in this video, this video is going to be kind of long, and we're going to do some gatekeeping for slalom. And so if you just sort of hang with me, by the end of this, you will understand a lot more about slalom than you did before. Okay, so here we got some video. So we're taking video of video. And we're going to just start us off with some nice open gates. So these are some nice open gates up here. And so we're going to diagram this out. So it just goes red, blue, that's a blue, that's a red, that's a blue, and that's a red. Okay. So let's just diagram out what we just saw in the video. And uh, we're going to use from our gatekeeper card, we're going to say that the red gates are going to be diamonds. And so that's a red. And then that's a blue. So it just goes red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Okay, so I'm not going to do it on a gatekeeper card, but we're going to do it as if we were doing a gatekeeper card. Okay, so now the normal race line is going to be like this. And now I was watching the video, and actually in the video, they actually do have outside gates. But what really confuses people a lot is the idea of single pole slalom. So this is So for the purposes of this video, we will assume that there's not another red pole out here and there's not another blue pole out here and there's not another red pole out here. But uh, that's okay. So now this is the way that it should be run, like this. But it doesn't have to be run this way. It could be run in a lot of different ways. And so let's uh, just sort of go over here and make it. Now what they say, what the single pole slalom rules say is that there's an imaginary line that goes from pole to pole like this. And basically the racer has to kind of come under the, has to come from under the line and go over the line and under the line and over the line. But what the rule actually states is that if the racer does not take the normal race line, if the racer does not take the normal race line, then the racer has to loop over the top of the pole. So, suppose this person comes in and they miss that gate. Now, they have to loop up and over, and then they have to resume the normal race line. So that's loop one example. Okay, but it does not stop there. They don't have to loop in the normal way. So I can go
they can also, they can come in like this and then they can loop and get on the normal race line. So this is also legal. So in, in single pole slalom, there's the normal race line, and which is just normal. They go around the gate, hit the next gate, around the gate, hit the next gate, so and so, just like normal slalom. And then in single pole slalom, if you miss a gate, you have to loop up over the top of it but you don't have to loop up in any specific direction. You can just, as long as you go over the top of that gate, completely and sort of make a loop over the top, you're all set. So there's, you can also go like that. So they came over the top of this gate and then they also came over the top of that gate. They crossed this line and then they resume normal racing. Okay, so one last example while we're on single pole slalom. They come in and then they fall and they go down to here. Okay, well they've got to get over the top of this gate. So however they want to get over the top of that gate, maybe they want to hike up like this and then they want to go like that and then they want to get on the normal race line boom okay so that is legal it's weird it's going to take a long time but it's legal they came over the top of this gate on the normal race line and then they fell and they slid downhill then they hiked, 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 hiked. They looped over the gate that they missed. And then once they and then their normal race line would have taken them like this. So this is sort of all the loop. And then they get on the normal race line here. And then they continue the normal race line. So that would be legal passage for that set of gates. Okay, now the nice thing about this video is this, this video has everything. So we just did uh, open gates. So we did a series of open gates. And now uh, we're going to come down and coming up here in just a few gates, there's our first little wrinkle in a slalom course, which is a delay. So right now they just hit red. Well, this is Kylie. Blue red spinning to red and then blue going to the right L red left oh watch this blue left let's back that up so right now she is taking a red gate on her left leg now she's gonna go and she's gonna take a blue gate on her left leg. So instead of switching directions with every single gate, she has just gone through what is known as a delay. And so right there, stop. Right now you'll notice that her hands are basically about to hit the inside pole of the delay and her, her uh, feet are pointing at a blue gate that's down and to the left and that is the outside gate of the delay and then from there she goes into a couple more open gates a red and a blue so let's diagram this out so we're gonna come out we're gonna make a diagram of this so she comes a blue a red well, let's back it up a little further. Red to the left. Blue to the right. Red to the left. Blue to the left. 
red to the right, blue to the left. We're going to diagram that out for you. Okay, so now here is a gatekeeper card diagram for a delay. And so the normal race line is comes in like this and then comes around like that and then keeps going. So again, this is red, blue, etc. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. Now, here's the deal. This right here, this is the inside pole, and this is the outside. Now, the key thing with the, sing with the single pole slalom rules is um, So open gates only need one pole, all others need an inside and an outside. So if we were setting single pole slalom, you would have one pole here, one pole here, one pole here because these are all open gates. And then your delay, this is our delay right here. The delay would have to have an inside and an outside. And so this is the normal race line. Now the key thing is, is the whole looping over rule The looping over rule only applies to open gates. Okay, so let's do an example of legal passage that looks a little strange. So, comes in here, comes in here, comes in here, cruises down there. Okay, what do they need to do? Do they need to loop over? What, what do they need to loop over? Well, they don't need to loop over anything because they just missed this part of the delay. So now all they have to do here They just have to break that plane and then they can continue. So they can do a few things. They can come this way and then continue. That's legal. They could come this way and then continue. That's legal. However they do it, they just have to break this plane and then continue on the normal race line. And let me give you another one of these here. So they come in, bam, 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 bam. Somehow they managed to do that. Now, they don't have to loop over the top of this. They just have to break this plane somehow. So they can do it this way. They can do it that way. Or they can go that way. 
So let me go through this again. I'm making a messy diagram. So they've missed the they've missed that plane right there. All they have to do is somehow break that plane and then get over the top of this red. As long as they break that plane and get over the top of this red, they're legal. So if they just come up and back, they've broke that plane and they've gotten over the top. If they if they continue around and come in this way, then they've done that same thing. They've broken that plane and they've gotten over the top of the red. If they come up this way, they've broken the plane this way and they've gotten over the top of the red. It doesn't matter which direction they break that plane in. They can break, break it going uphill, they can break it coming downhill, they can break it twice, they can break it three times, four times. All they have to do is break this plane once in either direction if there is an inside pole and an outside pole. If it's a single pole, they have to loop up over the top. Inside, outside, break the plane once in either direction. Okay, so what's next on the docket? Next, we're going to do a hairpin. So there's a lot going on in slalom. And right coming up here, boom, boom, that's our hairpin right there. Now the hairpin was pretty close to the camera, so it's, it's, uh, but it's pretty good to see. And the key thing that you're going to notice on a hairpin stop right there. Let's back it up. Okay, so you've got this red, you've got this blue and this red right together like that. And so if we stop, if we back it up a little bit further, stop. That's the, that is the turning pole of the beginning of the hairpin. That next blue gate that her pole is crossing that's the bottom gate of the gate that's the bottom pole of the gate that she just passed through that red that she's hitting right now is the top of the second gate of the hairpin and then that red right there is the bottom gate of the hairpin and then she goes blue red okay so let's go through this and diagram it out. She does a red, red on the right, blue into the hairpin. Okay, I think we can diagram this out. Okay, let's give it a shot. Okay, so now we're gonna look at a diagram of the hairpin that Kylie just skied. And so she, there's a blue open gate, a red open gate, and then you had two blue poles that defined the top of the hairpin. And then sort of in the middle of the hairpin, you've got a blue and a red pole right next to each other. And then you've got two red poles that define the bottom of the hairpin. And then you've got a blue open gate and a red open gate. And so if you watch the video, Kylie's race line is like that. And so that's what she does and that would be normal passage. Boom, boom, over the top of that blue, right smack both of those, come in, hit the blue, hit the red. Okay, but there's so many options. She doesn't have to ski it that way. All she has to do is she's got to come Oh, sorry. This is that's a mistake. All 
she needs to do is she needs to come over the top of the open gates and cross that line between the poles and then she's got to cross the plane on our combinations and there's a lot of different ways to do that so let's give you another one So if she comes in, legal passage on that, legal passage on that, then she comes in like this, and so she's gone into the delay backwards. Instead of coming over the top of this, she's gone in backwards. Well, what does she have to do now? Well, all she needs to do, she has just broken both of those planes. She's come over the top of this gate, she's come over the top of this gate, she's broken that plane, she's broken that plane. All she needs to do is come over the top of this gate. So she can come over the top of this gate and resume the normal race line and that is legal passage. It's not the fastest way to ski it, but speed is optional. Okay. So then let's look at uh, another one. And I'm, I can't go through every single possibility that you can possibly see on the hill uh, because there's just all kinds of variations that could happen. But I'm going to give you another example. Legal passage, legal passage, slides down now what do they have to do well all they have to do is break this plane the only thing that they have not done yet is to break this plane so if they come up touch that and then come down and resume skiing then they've made legal passage and assuming I sort of ran out of space there should be a red gate there should be a red gate down here too but they've made legal passage on the blue legal passage on the red now they don't have to take the gates in order the gates do not have to be taken in order so they have already made legal passage on this red they just did so before they did the uphill blue. So they come in, they cross this plane, now they just have to cross this plane and get over the top of this blue and resume their race line and they'll be legal. They don't have to go through this one again. So blue gate, red gate, took this gate out of order went back in, filled this gate in by crossing that plane, come over the top of the blue, and resume the race line. All right, so now she's finishing up the delay, and now right in, she's going into, this is gonna be the next thing. It's great how this course is set up because you have a delay, then you've got a hairpin. This is perfect for this video. I want to thank uh, whoever set this course, and I want to thank Kylie Staples for uh, skiing this course so well, and I want to thank Rich Smith for making this video and posting this video up on YouTube where I can use it. Okay, she's coming into a blue open gate. Boom, that's a blue open gate. Now, what's she going into right now? Right now, she's going into a flush. This is a, th a three-gate flush. So there's the red, two poles make the red, two poles make the red top of the flush, and then two blue poles make the middle of the flush, and then two red poles make the bottom of the flush, and then there's a blue over here, and then there's a red over here. And watch her ski at one gate, two gate, three gate open, 
open. Okay, so now let's diagram, let's take a look at that one more time. She's got a red gate going to the right, left gate going to the left, blue gate going to the left, then she's in the flush. She comes out of the flush, blue gate, red gate. Let's diagram that one out. Okay, so here's a diagram of our three gate flush. And so you come in, she's got a red open gate, a blue open gate, and then two red poles that make the first gate of the flush, then a red and a blue right next to each other, then a blue and a blue, which make the middle of the flush, the blue and a red right close together, then a red and a red make the last gate of the flush, then an open blue and an open red. And normal passage is, uh, she comes over the top, down, 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 down. Okay, so that's normal passage. And again, it doesn't have to be normal passage. Well, there's other ways to do this legally. And so we're going to do a couple other ways to do it legally. Mm -hmm. Okay, one way. Legal passage on the red slides and falls and somehow ends up down there. Okay, well, they've made legal passage on that red and they have crossed the plane. So they've done that gate and they've done that gate, but they haven't done this gate yet. And now this is a single pole. So they have to loop up over the top, but they can loop up over the top that way, or I'm not gonna do it on my diet, I'm not gonna draw it because it'll just get confusing. They can loop this way, or they can loop this way. They can loop either direction, as per what I said earlier in my video. Now, they've made legal, as soon as they loop over the top, they've now made legal passage on this gate. Legal passage on this gate, legal passage on that gate, legal passage on that gate. These three gates, they're all legal on. Now, they're going to want to eventually resume the normal race line. They probably don't want to continue to make mistakes. So, the normal race line has them coming in this way. So they can come in like this, boom. And now, they've made legal passage on every single gate. They came over that normally. They took this one from the wrong side. Well, they took it from the right side, but they took it out of order. Took it from the correct side out of order. Then they have to loop up over the top somehow. And then they resumed the normal race line. Okay. One more of these, and then we'll move on. Okay, starts off the same way. Then I want to show you that they can loop any way that they want. And then they can choose to cross this line again if they wish to. And then they can break that plane from either direction. They can break this plane from either direction. And then they have to, they must loop up over the top of this gate. So they have to loop over the top of that gate, and then they have to come over the top of that gate. So this is going to be slow. 
this would be the slowest of the combinations of the three that I've got. This is normal passage. This is this is slow. This is really this is not good. But still they legally pass every single gate. Over the top normal took this one out of order, looped over the top. If they want to take it a second time, that's fine. They're taking this one backwards, but that's okay. They're taking that backwards, which is okay. Then they loop over the top of that, and they loop over the top of that. Okay, so I know you're getting tired, but we just have one more thing, and you see it looming on the horizon right over there. There is the last thing we're going to look at. That's our four gate flush. And so it's just like a three gate flush, but it's four gates. So red, two blue poles, two red poles, two blue poles, two red poles, blue, red. Okay. So we're just going to diagram that out and then we're going to be done. All right, and so here is a diagram of a four gate flush. And so she comes over the open blue, over the open red, over the top gate of the flush, which is blue. And then there's two blue poles that define the top. And then there's a blue and a red right stuck next to each other. So she comes in like that. Then there's a red and a blue stuck together. She comes in like that. Blue and a red stuck together. She comes in like that. And she heads out for the open blue and the open red. Okay. So that's the normal race line through that four gate flush. And so it's really no different from a three gate flush. It's just got another gate on it. And so all I want to say is there's a plane, there's a plane, there's a plane, there's a plane. Legal passage is breaking all four of those planes in either direction, in any order, and then also looping up over the top of these four open gates and at some point in time uh, crossing these lines. So you got to come over the top of the gate, cross the line, over the top of the gate, cross the line, break the plane, break the plane, break the plane, break the plane, come over, cross this line, come over the top of that gate, cross this line, and come over the top of that gate, and then you're legal. Okay, so long video, but we've covered basically everything you're going to see in slalom. We've had delays, hairpins, three gates flushes, four gate flushes, and of course we started off with open gates.